<coughs> hey Irish, what's up, man? Ugh. Hey, what's up, Stops? Nothing much. Um, oh, I got a new beer for us. It's gluten free. Gluten free beer? What? What? What the hell is that? I'm gluten intolerant, so I figure we should uh, inform them on a beer that's gluten free. I guess that kind of makes sense, but uh, we're not gluten intolerant. I mean, I know I'm not, and you're not, but I can see your point. Well, I know that you and I aren't gluten intolerant, but I feel we should inform the, you know, the gluten, I mean, gluten intolerant people of beer that they can enjoy as well as normal people like you and me. You know what, Arish? You're absolutely right. The drunken girl should leave no one out. Everyone's included. Even the gluten intolerant. I mean glutards. I mean intolerant. Damn it. Oh, well, you get the point. Time to find out what's in this concoction. What's up, Internet? It's your boy, Irish. And again, you are watching the Drunken Grail, and I thank you. And today, we are doing another Drunken Grail first. We are reviewing a gluten-free beer. Whatever that means. I have no idea. All I know is we are reviewing the Steadfast Brewing Company. Uh, we are reviewing their blonde ale, their golden blonde ale. It's boasting a 5.5% ABV. I'm not too sure about the uh, IBU rating. I'm pretty sure there is no IBU rating. But it's gluten free! Again, I have absolutely no idea what that means. I don't know what gluten is. It never applied to me. So. Therefore, I never really cared, but it, this is a gluten-free beer for people who are gluten intolerant. Anyway, I, it, this crap is really starting to mess with my mind. Uh, I, I feel like my head's going to explode, so I'm just going to let Stomps inform you on the finer points because, dude, seriously, I don't know. Ugh. I got you back, Irish. Now. I wasn't even exactly sure what they did to make a gluten-free beer. For all I know, they summoned Gandalf and performed magic, and that's how they got rid of the gluten. Or at least I think so. Because, I mean, what's beer without the barley and grains? Empty lies. Shattered hope. Anyways, moving on to the science of everything. They put spices in this beer, they put honey in this delicious beer, and they used Belgium yeast to replace the barley and the malt which actually contains the gluten in the beer they use some kind of other grain called sokra i really don't know how to pronounce this word and unfortunately wikipedia didn't have the pronunciation so that's on you to figure this one out other than that i can tell you it's got a 5.5 abv and it labels itself as craft beer but you know what this is my first venture into gluten-free beer because any other person I knew that was gluten intolerant just went to cider. So, on to the porn first impressions. Now, on to the porn first impressions. Bottle opener's ready. Yeah. I'm interested to see how this is gonna happen. Hmm. Hmm. Look who's not ready again. Could it be you? Shut it, sir Stompy. Twelve ounces of brew in a sixteen-ounce glass. Wow, that's hazy. Very hazy. Very hazy. No head. No. I that I mean it's frothy, but you'd probably get the same amount of froth from pouring a chocolate milk. All right. 
It is bubbling like crazy though. It, yeah, it is. Like a soda. I don't know. Yellowish color, again hazy. You kind of, it, it might be me just talking, but it, you kind of expect the bubbliness from uh, from like a Belgian kind of, like a... Yeah, but look, the, the, the bubbles aren't holding, so right. it's more of a Coke. Anyways. Kind of a fruity flavor. Yeah. Fruity, a little bit. The gem and the citrus. But Alright, let's take a sip. Cheers. Definitely got the Belgian taste. So yeah. the yeast is right there. I'm not getting the honey though. No. I mean it's it's okay. It's got a it's got a sweetness to it. Um, It's, it's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. It's not really awe-inspiring either. No. By the way, this four pack, four, one, two, three, four, is nine forty-nine a pack here in Connecticut. So if you are going to be taking a date out with this beer, I hope she's a cheap, cheap date because, yeah, nine forty-nine is four pack. I'm really not getting the honey. You said uh, you're supposed to get some uh, honey flavors to this. I'm really not getting that at Neither all. Neither am I. Um, honestly, it's... Disappointing? Well, not to me. I mean, honestly, this, uh, for for gluten, we got to think, you know, this is for people who are gluten-free. Yeah. I, you know, glutar, I mean, gluten-free people. Listen, if you can't have real beer, I'm sorry. Honest, yeah, exactly. you're not really. I mean, I hope there's better ones out there, but I'm just not all impressed. That's that's what I. If you can't have beer, then don't doctor it up. Go to the then, ciders, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, unless you plan on curling up next to your TV and watch the Lifetime channel with this, right. that's about all this is good for. I mean, if oh, I made a Lifetime movie reference. Oh. oh. I want to have a good cry now. Wow! On to the chug test. I say onto the chuck test. This is a nice throwback beer, but I say we throw it back right now. Amen. All right. Oh, goodness. Just, can know. we just end this chug test? No. I, I, I don't want to do this chug no, test. No, you have to do the chuck test. You gotta. I don't want to. I feel Come like on. Charlie Sheen's house. No means no. <laughs> Fine. No means yes. You're not in Charlie Sheen's house. You're in my house now. All right. On to the terrible chuck test. I'm Fine, let's just do it. Let's do it. Come on. Great. All right. Slash it. Just in the yeah. Thank you, buddy. God damn it. What? It's cold. I thought I had more. Turns out I don't have more either. Ha! I still won. Yep, we're just gonna chalk this up as you won, and I'm okay with that. What, were you just drawing as you were chugging? A little bit. I drew a mouse. Still more fun than chugging this beer. <laughs> oh, Thank you for watching this week's episode of The Drunken Grail. I don't feel I'm, good. I'm Stomps. I'm Irish. And you definitely don't feel good. Nope, that was not. Ugh. And as always, to good friends and good brutal. So that's your bitches. Ugh. Bye. <coughs>